Welcome to this video guys. So in this video I want to make uh, a little bit of uh, explanation about the Bluetooth audio and specifically for Snapdragon sounds. So as many people probably know the aptX is exclusively technology which is uh, Qualcomm proprietary standard and uh, currently there is uh, not many device that actually support this technology so basically the Bluetooth standard uh, for audio is being developed by years and uh, unfortunately many of these standards are proprietary and uh, people get confused uh, when they are trying to use uh, some device and it's not working so in many cases uh, these, these uh, devices they work on phones which they are specifically made for uh, being used on these phones but they fail to work on anything else so for example Windows, if you buy, for example, this Cambridge Audio, uh, which are very nice uh, headphones, and supports Snapdragon sound, uh, which uh, basically it won't able to work on Windows by default. So if you use uh, a much more uh, bad quality audio codec which uh, will not make this uh, product sound very well so first I want to explain a little bit uh, how many standards in Bluetooth audio we have and uh, just give you a little bit of overview uh, why we need to know a little bit more about the Bluetooth uh, audio so uh, here, uh, most of the headphones, they basically use uh, SBC, uh, AAC, aptX, aptX HD, aptX low latency, uh, LDAC, which is specifically made by Sony, and uh, aptX advanced. Uh, which is uh, one more specification uh, and uh, basically standard Windows driver which support this codex is not being able to support anything uh, which is more than SBC so some people say they have aptX the first version enabled but um, I was unable to pair my headphones so I had to install this uh, paid software which is great by the way and only cost five dollars it's called alternative A A2 DP driver and uh, I will show you what kind of device I have so but uh, let me explain a little bit about the codex so this codex SBC is the most common use codex and it's supported by almost every Bluetooth device. The AAC is Apple standard and uh, it's rely on their proprietary AAC standard. Aptex is Qualcomm and Aptex HD is basically high quality music. Uh, Aptex low latency is being used uh, for uh, very low latency when you uh, you use device for gaming or uh, watching movies stuff like this. And LDAC is basically Sony alternative to Aptex HD, which uh, uh, basically is used by high quality and most expensive Sony headphones. Uh, so if you want to install this driver and you have uh, of course uh, 
uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11, it will replace the standard Windows driver and it will work with these specific uh, standards. Of course, uh, for example, let me give you, I have these headphones which are SoundPets uh, Air Pro. So, and uh, basically they support Snapdragon Sound, uh, Qualcomm Aptex and Qualcomm Aptex Adaptive. So Qualcomm Aptex Adaptive is one of the newest standard which includes Aptex Voice inside. But the device that uh, basically uh, need to have a phone that support all these standards. So if you want to use, uh, for example, these full future headphones with Windows, it yes, you can install this driver. It will give you, uh, for example, uh, listen um, some of the Aptex and Aptex HD, for example, but will not support uh, Aptex uh, Advanced because uh, it's uh, still not reversed and it's proprietary Qualcomm standard. So the best device I discover, which basically is a USB dongle, so this device uh, FMA120 Bluetooth. 5.4 uh, it support uh, Aptex lossless and uh, let me show you something uh, the software is uh, open source so it's uh, you can buy on Amazon for 45 bucks uh, and uh, it support Aptex, Aptex HD, Aptex uh, Adaptive uh, Aptex Adaptive Lowless, LC3 and CBC Codex. So, uh, one alternative is this uh, Creative BTW5, which also support this codex. But, uh, uh, and how, how this device work? When you plug this device to your computer, it will show uh, basically a standard USB sound card. So, if you can pair the Bluetooth headphones with this, and basically you can use your headphones uh, without any driver on Windows, on Mac and also on Linux. So, but uh, from what I read and discover, basically I give you just the information here. Uh, from what I read and discover, this uh, device is, one, is the best thing you can buy. And the software they use is open source, they have GitHub page. And basically, uh, the guys are working and this is firmware <coughs> uh, it support firmware updates and in the future uh, they may provide some more uh, like uh, some new functionality in the firmware update so I recommend you this device uh, if you have uh, for example headphones which support uh, Aptex lossless and uh, Aptex uh, advanced standards. So basically, I have this uh, Soundpits Air 4 and uh, Sound, Sound, Soundpits Air 4 Pro. I have two pairs of these headphones, and you can see Aptex advanced lossless audio codec. So basically, if you want to have the best things, on the PC, uh, you need to have this adapter. Uh, if you don't have this adapter, you can install on Windows this driver. It will work with Aptex X, but not with Aptex Adaptive. So you need this device for maximum compatibility. And uh, on the phone. If you want to use uh, these modern headphones on the phone, your phone needs to support uh, the last, the latest standard of uh, Qualcomm. So here uh, there is a list of phones, for example, this Sony is also a nice phone. Uh, 
I think the phone should be at least 5.2 Bluetooth. And uh, uh, here is also Zenfone, Motorola. Basically, latest uh, one, two years uh, Qualcomm chips most likely will support. Uh, here is the on the aptex.com product listing. You can check which phones or which headphones uh, are compatible and they use uh, the same protocols. So if you have phones, phone, you need to check which protocol they support and also you have to check the headphones which protocol they support. If the, if the protocols match, uh, you can use uh, best quality uh, on your devices. So if you want to use these headphones on the PC, it's just you buy this adapter. So uh, basically uh, the Windows driver is uh, uh, absolutely not completed, so you need a dongle to pair with these headphones to be able to match this uh, proprietary Aptex uh, adaptive with lossless, for example. And uh, uh, let me play the video. Really, the, these headphones are very nice. Uh, if they have 6 mic microphone and that can have active noise cancellation function. They have game mode for ultra low levels. Sound peaks. And uh, I can say the product is very nice, but uh, currently, because I don't have the latest phone uh, in Qualcomm. I cannot test it with the mobile phone. The only solution I have now is to use Windows driver or uh, later I will explain uh, how these codecs are works in Linux. If you guys are interested, I will make a specific video for this and we will explain the pipe wire and how the new actually how the Linux is by default better than Windows using the Bluetooth audio. So I think uh, it was a quick video for explaining uh, basically all the standards for Qualcomm sound.